And hurry up, we gotta go. And you hear that? That's Cersei. DJ Swift on the tour. You can't handle that. Mook got the keys. Yeah, I just pull up, whip out, dance. On your mark, set, go, bitch, dance. Fuck nigga, hate nigga, you a fan. Daddy, host, sprinter, van. I'm on a boot right now, bitch. Damn. Hey, I'll tell you we sound hey. so good <laughs> on the track, dog. They with the enemy steal. All that dick ride, more when your gender reveal. You was inside, ain't never been in the field. We got big five works like the end of the year. But song. That nigga Tom be rapping, though. <laughs> nigga Tom be rapping, though. Niggas ain't rapping no more. Like, you gotta catch the melody now. That nigga Tom be rapping, dog. The fuck, dog. How no. you how you have punchlines and flow, dog? Niggas can't do that. Come on, like dog. a nigga either got punchlines and they rapping like it's ninety four, or a nigga got flow, dog. This nigga Tom got punchlines and he flowing that bitch, dog. Oh. That nigga hey man, in. hey, welcome to the show, man. This is Bridging the Rap Podcast, man. We on episode four, my nigga. Oh, that's episode crazy. four, man. We doing it, bro. Hey, I'm King Cut. I'm in here with the original D. What's popping? What's yeah, popping? Yeah, sir. Yo? We got Cersei back here. Shout out to Cersei. Yeah, My sir. boy still ain't put a logo or nothing up, so <laughs> he ain't gonna make no money filming. Cause hey, we it's ain't coming. Paying him. It's coming. We trying to. I'm trying to tell him, dog. Yes, Free sir. advertisement. That 4K look crazy, dog. Let's get it, man. That's Tighten a, up. That's an expensive camera you working with now. Tighten up, man. Saying? Hey, but what we got today for y'all, man? We got a nice show put together for y'all, man. What y'all just heard? That was Tom G. We definitely finna do a review about that, man. Yes, sixteen um, summers. We're going to talk about, me and D was talking about the best XSL, XXL um, freshman um, class. Which year was that? Right? Was, uh... No, we ain't going to talk about it now. Okay, you okay. know what I mean? I, I want to let everybody know what we're All talking right. about. Um, we're going to talk about Kodak New Charge. Um, Lil Yachty New Video. Mm-hmm. And then um, and Tyronisha Ty, Ty Laws and the baby, the possible... Settlement that's probably gonna happen. Yes. But first, I wanna talk about this motherfucking Tom G. <laughs> man. Tom G, 16 summers, he just dropped it. Hey man, I don't I don't listen to this shit probably. I don't listen to the whole project probably like 10, 12 times already, bro. It's it's I can say it's damn near flawless, bro. Yeah. Okay. I can say it's damn near flawless. And then and then like when I listen to it, I I start getting I start getting um I start I start seeing other reasons why he did the tape the way he did it, man. And even even make me like it and appreciate the project even more. Yeah. Like, like I really feel like it was for the city, dog. You know what? I was thinking that, like, because it's his star is still growing because of the, the Instagram freestyles and what have you. So I was just looking at how like, he fucked with so many local upcoming guys on this project. Like that was real, real. Like, yeah. cause he in the position to go try to spend a few bands fucking with this nigga. Spend a few minutes fucking with that nigga with a buzz, dog. And he really came through on some original tracks with some with some local cast. Um, shout out to LA the Goat. Mm-hmm. Shout out Roboy. Boy. Um, shout shout out Melody Mike. I don't want to forget nobody. Mm-hmm. Average uh, kid, producer. Uh, J Creek. You know what I'm saying? J Creek, a local legend already. Anyway, but he just he just fucked with a lot of people in the city, and the the CD had a real city vibe. Dog. I was gonna say the, CD. The CD, <laughs> my, the tape. <laughs> <laughs> the MP3, well, you should the be able to call it. You should be able to call it a CD. You know Niggas call it a tapes, tape. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I think I think it's short for sh- mixtape. Yeah, but mixtapes are called mixtapes because they were originally on tapes. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's the same thing. But but yeah, though the it was fire though. I felt it. Fire, dog. It's, the execution, I, bro. The, no, bro. I'm I'm finna get too caught, bro. Break it down. Because I I, I just I, you know I'm I'm really a big like Sonic's dude, bro. Right. And when I sit back and listen to this song, dog. Man, I was so happy, dog. Like, because people used to criticize Tom G about his voice, like mm-hmm. just taking over the beat and saying that his freestyles is harder than his songs and shit like that. But dog, Tom G did his thing on this shit, dog. Like, it sound it sounded like all the beats fit his voice. The the lyrics was there, the the song content was there. Mm-hmm. Man, and it was it was stuff you could feel. It was stuff you you it was parts of the tape that you knew was real, bro. Right. You know what I mean? Nigga that just not rapping because he know how to rap. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like Man, I really salute Tom G on this shit, bro. I swear to God, I do, bro. It's so admirable, admirable by about him just reaching out to all the like the lower lower guys, or the guys that's just starting out, or the guys 
You know what I mean? Just giving yeah. that hand and putting them on that stage like that on a on an actual tape. You know what I mean? It's like that's dope to me, dog. Yeah, I, dog. I fuck with it, bro. Uh, my immediate response was, "Oh, uh, this." In my opinion, how, no, real quick. How did you? How? What were you expecting to hear from the tape? Um, I was not expecting this. I wasn't expecting this, dog. I wasn't expecting this because Tom Best tapes got a lot of freestyles on a lot of people like that. Um, Cushion Cups. I think it's six point five. Mm-hmm. I think that was probably my favorite Tom before he dropped this, dog. Um, I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but the, the nigga threw a left hook and knocked me off my feet, what? dog. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this, dog. What? Like, straight up and down, if you ain't heard it, dog, ain't nobody just blowing smoke, dog. You no, gotta go bro. check it out, bro. No, like, bro. What Tom, when Tom on IG telling y'all, man, this is the hottest shit in the street, man, this is the hottest shit in the floor, bro, he not lying at facts, all. He Big not facts, lying dog. at all. This tape is solid, bro. This tape is solid, man. This shit, dog, this you shit know what, might be. You know what be, else hard, dog? Huh? It's hard, like we just talked about. He got all the new guys, but the song um, "Push the Culture for It," dog. No, I want to get. I want to break down the, the songs, legends, dog. Bro, I'm finna get to and the, the song. I want to break down the song, slide, dog. dog. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like no think corny. Just, yeah, man, the shit hard. The shit hard. No, we finna tell y'all what it is, yeah. why it's hard, and this that. You know yeah. what I mean? So, um, dog. But this tape, like, bro, like I, I went back and listened to the little, the, all the recent albums. I listened to Lil Baby. I listened to Uzi Vert. Um. I listen to Blue Phase and shit like that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, dog, Tom G, this 16 Summers might be one of the best projects out right now, dog. Like, I did like him and Uzi, bro, to me. And look, like, little baby, like, right there. I'm in, and I know I mean, like, I'm just being honest, bro. I don't yeah. know how people gonna feel about that. But I, feel, like, I feel like, I don't feel comfortable saying that because I, I believe I got bias in it, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, Tom got the hardest <laughs> shit out right now. Of course, says a Tampa nigga, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I can't argue with it, dog. The shit was fire all the way through. My girl came in the front like, damn, this shit jamming, what? dog. It didn't like every song, this shit been jamming. Bro, and the, and the theme, like the theme and the vibe of the of the songs, that they, they all fit, bro. It's like a it's like a consistent vibe, mm-hmm. but they all like executed right, dog. It's 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 a it's a beautiful take to me, dog. And like we said, man, so like, but I, what we're gonna go into on this part, man, I wanna I wanna like talk about like like the highlights for you on the tape. Um, like your favorite songs. And you know what I mean? Let's just get to it, bro. All right. Uh, my favorite song, I don't wanna pick Sprinter Van, because everybody gonna say Sprinter Van, <laughs> but it's a hard ass song, dog. Got two of the best from Tampa to ever do it on that bitch today. They bounced off each other, flow real creatively. They fit the song real perfect, dog. Fire delivery. And then you got one of the hottest producers in the game on the track who just so happened to be from Tampa, too. Shout out DJ Swift. You gotta so let him know who's, who's on there with him. Uh, <laughs> you said Tay name? I don't think you said Tay Yeah, name. yeah, you did? Yeah, yeah. I went in on Tay. But it's just like like a Tampa All-Star track right now. Like the, the heavyweights from the city combined, dog, and... And a lot of times when people waiting for for artists and producers to do a track, it just come like they was in the studio together, so they did some shit. Mm-hmm. I'm glad they came out with some fire, dog. Like they came out with some fire ass shit. Uh-huh. Um, I like Toe Down the Projects. I like um, Push Toe the Culture. Down the Projects is one of my favorite songs. I, I do like I like Sprinter Van a lot too. You like Toe Down the Projects, bro? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a real Tampa song. Though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Talking about a lot of shit you, you don't know about. It. You yeah. ain't from around, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, I pushed the, pushing the culture forward was so dope because a track to do what he intended to do, like something like that could come out real cheesy, real easy, dog. Yeah. And that shit still came out smooth, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Him talking about like like stuff that he remembered that, that gave him a certain feel, a vibe, mm-hmm. or memories that he never forgot about that, yeah. that came from guys that he, he's able to do a song with now. Mm-hmm. That was, that's dope, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it sounds good, bro. Who had, dog, the, it felt, who had the best verse out the old school? Rated R. Dog. Rated R, bro. I like I the crazy, why, dog. dog. I, like, I like crazy, but I like crazy. But for me, just hearing Rated R with that signature flow, bro, yeah. I was like, I'm fucking with it, dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm he fucking turned with it. Up. He turned that bitch up, dog. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tampa Tony, I like Tampa, I like to hear Tampa Tony, too. Tampa Tony too. had a signature flow, I like flow to hear Tampa Tony on hey, that, too, man. What you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... We can, go, we can probably go back and forth on these songs. Um, like I said, I like I like toward the projects, but um, a song that really stood out to me is um, what the song we were just listening to? Oh, uh, 
Stop playing, stop playing stop with playing. me. I like to stop playing with me a lot. The, the beat, beat was crazy, hard. Dog. The beat fit Tom G perfectly. Like, you know what I mean? He was, he's able to rap on there. It still got a nice like bounce to it. That's that's one that's one song that I really like a lot that I listen to. Like I've been listening to a lot when I go to the gym. Um and the Roboy song a lot too. Yeah. I like I like the Roboy. I like the song he did with Roboy. I like the song he did with LA too. I like the song he did with LA too. Yeah. No, but but all right, so but all right, all right, because it's a lot of songs on there we like. So I want to. Okay, it's a lot of songs on there that I like. So okay, my favorite songs is, um, stop playing with me. Tore down the projects. I like the song with Melody Mike too. Yeah, that song. No, the way they did that song, that shit was, it was so like, hard. Dog. Yeah, because it's kind of like it's. A, they they approached it in a unique way. You right, because I mean? he just let the nigga do it like a nigga. A lot of people never heard of. He just let him come on the track. And do him, or, you know. What I'm saying? Maybe it was already the nigga song first, but either way it go, the way he just let the nigga do him without, you know what I'm saying? That shit was hard, dog. Yeah, because a like, nigga could lose you. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. The nigga, if, if the nigga don't got a name that Tom got, people tuning in to hear Tom. The nigga could lose you if you giving him that much time to go before you say a word. Mm -hmm. But the nigga just did his thing, dog. Shout out Melody Mike. Man. Yeah, shout out Melody Mike and AK Productions on their beat, man. Average kid. But like that, that song got some like like nice like, like when I listen to it, just like nice little elements to it. Like like they they singing, it sounds really melodic. Oh, but they, it seemed like he's singing, but like the niggas, just, you know what I'm saying? Everything <laughs> just kind of like culminated on his album, like his bro, flow. Bro, are we are we going too voice. hard about this shit, bro? I, I don't hope. I don't we, think so. I don't dog. think we is. Dog. I really think this Tom best work. Yeah, just, bro. You know like real shit, bro. I don't want niggas to think we just. You know, I, heard, I, swear I, dick heard, I swear I heard the nigga hit a couple notes in the background. I'm like, damn, that's <laughs> that's just how good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real, dog. For real, man. Um, what else? Who had the best feature to you though on that tape? Um, it's almost uh unfair to say tape, but come on, <laughs> come on, dog. He, he, you know what I'm saying? Him and yeah. Tay went in on that bitch, dog. And then the way, uh, I'm on the boot, right? The way he just said, <laughs> I'm on a boot right now. <laughs> bitch, damn. You know what I'm saying? That shit hard. Yeah, yeah. My favorite feature was on um, Roboy. Okay. I liked it. I liked it. I like Roboy too, though. Yeah. We're going to have to open the uh, show up with uh, Roblox Groove one day, though. Mm -hmm. I, I like that track, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked how Roboy came on that song, man. He really, his performance on that song was like, Real good. I feel like Jit real polished, dog. Yeah, he has a real polished sound. Like, it's just a, a matter of, of a song, dog. Like, like you got to say that uh, one song away. Jit got everything. It's just imagine a matter of one of them songs breaking, dog. Yeah, really like that song. Um, and that that's the last song on the tape. That's that's a that's a song that'll make you run the whole tape back, bro. Yeah. Like, it did good on this tape, man. Um, what was what was some surprises like good or bad surprises if there are any bad ones? Uh, I thought surprises I to like me after though. a while because like when I go into tapes I don't I don't ever look at the track list. Mm -hmm. Um, like round like round like seventh the seventh track I had an idea of like oh this 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 is a tape that he seemed like he's doing with the city bro, you know what I mean like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then I was expecting to see. Then I, I finally looked at the track list and I was, and I was confirmed like, oh, yeah, that's, that is probably what's happening. Because I saw a lot of people that I know personally, you know what I mean? People that's close to the area. And I was surprised that I didn't see Priceless on there. I thought Priceless would have been on there. And she would have fit well, too. Maybe they did have a song. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know. Uh, no, bad, I, no bad surprises. Just something like that. I think just, uh, just all the content being so original, though. Like, you know, Tom is a master at, at the uh the freestyle. He done shot his buzz up doing the Instagram freestyles, the mm -hmm. challenge guard, so for it just to be straight fire with pretty much all original songs, even if they sample the beat, it's still an original song, dog. I think that's what that's why to me it's definitely his best work to me, cause my favorite body of work from him before was six point five and he had freestyles on that bitch, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So Classic, legendary freestyles, but for when a nigga coming with straight original songs, dog, I don't, I don't know what they need to do, dog. They, <laughs> they gotta push this bitch to the max, dog. Cause I just feel like the project up there, dog. Yeah, man. I hope, I hope we get some real, some real like clean, hard visuals. Yeah. I feel like that'll help out a lot too. I feel like that'll yeah. help out a lot. 
Like put some nice visuals together. Yeah, I seen like videos making the comeback. Yeah, they Since definitely that, uh, that TikTok shit took yeah. off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas wearing you know costumes and all in the videos and shit. Yeah. Um. What else, man? Um. Finally, like, what do you rank the tape out of ten? Hmm. Yeah. Cause you gotta know, man. We got plenty of episodes that's coming after this. Yeah. You know what I mean. A tough question, dog. You don't want to go first? Nah, I go first. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I want to go. Uh, we do, we could do in point five. Yeah, I like yeah, a seven point yeah. five. You could do point seven, point eight. If you I want. like a seven point five, dog. Seven point five. That's yeah. close to what I say. I would say it's an eight, about an eight, bro. That's about an eight, man. It's a real nice tape, man. It's hard, bro. Sixteen summers. And he said, he said it's not even um. I think I heard that he said that he just put this together for the city. This ain't even the, this ain't even the, yeah. that's just the appetizer. So when he's dropping a, a, yeah. a, a album with uh with uh Cool and Dre, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. I was on I was on one of his um his Instagram lives when he was playing some music that he he was actually in the studio. And he was playing some music, and it wasn't none of the stuff that we heard on Sixteen Summers, and that shit sounded hard too. Yeah, I okay. was telling niggas about that. Like I was telling niggas about that. I'm like, man, Tom got some shit coming, bro. Like I heard that shit on his live. Yeah, like, shit hard. Man. It's about time, dog. It's about, about it's about what's time, up, dog. dog. That's what's up. Do it feel like Tom G changed up anything? Like what you mean? Like you think he changed his approach any type of way? Like going into like songs or it just feel like. Uh... It just feel like oh, he, he, how he see himself now, or uh, like what he's trying to do, or like you think he changed up anything? I don't know. It just feel like he 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 stuck with with what he believed in, and his craft is 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 getting to the point of perfection, where he's being like they say you gotta you gotta you know get everything out that that you blessed with. Like I feel like he hitting the potential of Tom G. When I hear him on tracks now, when I hear him drop freestyles, the nigga be, the nigga be snapping, dog. I feel like he hitting his full stride. That's uh, that's what I think it is more than, than anything. Like yeah. I feel like he just stuck with what, what he wanted to do, because you know a lot of people had to tell him, you should stop dropping freestyles, drop your own songs, dog. But where would he be without all those freestyles? Dog? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So he, I feel like he just stuck with what he wanted to do. And he's just hitting his full potential. He's just hitting his stride right now. I agree with that all the way. Damn. That's it for that, man? That's it, dog. 16 summers. 16 summers, dog. Good job, Tom, man. And everybody else who was on the tape, whoever had a part to do with that, man. Real shit. 